phenols assignment okay which does not have a carboxyl group if you look at picric acid it is oh with three no2 groups when three no2 groups are there and oh group this is picric acid there is no cooh group there is no carboxyl group we know ethanoic acid this is ch3 cooh benzoic acid is cooh and benzene group aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid so here o c o c h 3 and here c o o h so your answer is picric acid correct i'd like to go with some blue color phenol is also called carbolic acid benzyl alcohol is not phenol okay this is c h 2 o h not phenol don't confuse Meta dihydroxybenzene is called. Meta dihydroxybenzene is this one. This is resorcinol. Catechol is ortho. Quinol is 1,4 dihydroxy. Cresol is methyl group and OH group. And that is again given here 2 methyl phenol. 2 methyl is ortho cresol. OH and CH3. This is ortho cresol. Meta means 1 3 positions. If you want to take meta, this is OH and this is CH3. Xylene means 2 methyl groups. Meta, this one. Orthoxylene is 2 methyl groups like this. Just to confuse, all these common names are mentioned here. Fine. 20 questions we will discuss now. Benzene diazonium chloride on hydrolysis. Benzene diazonium chloride is this. When you are adding water, simply it turns into OH. Nitrogen gas is coming out. Phenol can be prepared by the hydrolysis of benzene diazonium chloride. Just now we have written chlorobenzene. You can prepare by using sodium hydroxide 300 degrees Celsius and 300 atmosphere pressure, which we call douse process. Sodium benzene sulfonate also on adding water, you will be getting so all. The reaction, see, these two are together H2CO3. H2CO3 is becoming NaHCO3 means it is providing proton. When it is providing proton, it is stronger acid. So carbonic acid is a stronger acid than phenol. The proton donor is acid and it is providing here. So this is a stronger. So this is my college where I am working. Phenol can be prepared by the reaction between this one. Okay, SO3 and A when treated with sodium hydroxide, you will be getting here ONA. Later, hydrolysis will give you OH. Here, this gives you benzoic acid, better CO2 and C6HYMGBR is nothing but it gives you benzoic acid. This reaction is not possible. HNO3, okay, now we can use HNO2, but not HNO3 and 373 Kelvin, that won't happen. And this is also not possible at 373. If you take 573, it is possible. Correct. Coming to the ninth question. Phenol is commercially isolated from middle oil. Not required now. That is not the NCRT. Increasing pKa values. High Ka, low pKa, strong acid. Here, Cresols means we have OH group and CH3 group. If CH3 is here ortho, if it is here meta, if it is here para, any any place it can be, that's why I am writing from here. So CH3 groups are not good. Okay, now we don't need CH3 groups. When we don't need, they must be at meta position. So if that is at meta position, that is a good acid. When it is a good acid, its pKa is low. So this is right. And ortho and meta, I'm sorry, para and ortho will be having almost the same. Very simple logic. CH3 group is not required for the acidic strength. So ortho and para position when CH3 group is there, that is worst. Meta is best comparatively. So for meta, as it is the best acid, comparatively, its pKa is less and its pKa is more. Ka should be low, pKa should be low. 
PK should be more for weak acids. For weak acids, don't confuse. See here, what is asking? Least value of PK, which is having least value of PK. Least value, least value, least value means strongest acid. This is the strongest acid. You know what to group at para position? Strongest acid. Which of the following phenols possess highest K? Highest K means strong acid. Strong acid means metacrisol. Okay, these two are almost same, but less than this. This is better. When phenol is treated with excess of bromine water, it gives two four six tribromophenol. OH plus bromine water Br two. Mm, bromine water you can say like this. OH three bromines. White precipitate of two four six tribromo. Phenol with chloroform and NaOH reaction is called Riemer-Riemann reaction. In this reaction, you are going to get. OH and CH4. Reamer Tiemann reaction. Here the intermediate is dichlorocarbene. I think that is your next question. The electrophile in the above reaction is dichlorocarbene. Dichlorocarbene. Next, OH. When you are treating with this, this is called Gatterman. Formylation reaction in Gatterman formylation reaction exactly this place you will be getting CH4. Okay, now formylation reaction you are adding CH4 group at para position. Now this is coupling reaction and it will be like this now when this is treated with uh, phenol hydrogen will be here this is last and you are going to get coupling here so you will be getting this product it's the orange red dye you can call 4 hydroxy azobenzene this compound is called azobenzene 4 hydroxy azobenzene See here, A is ONA, correct phenol gives you sodium phenoxide, which gives you NaCl is out and you will be getting here O, CH2, CH, double bond CH2. This reaction is called a Claisen rearrangement. In a Claisen rearrangement, this part will be moving to ortho position or to para position. This is the regular one that is moved to ortho or that is moved to para so all these are possible and this re this reaction or this rearrangement is called claisen rearrangement phenyl allyl ethers this is phenyl this is allyl phenyl allyl ethers undergo rearrangement coming to this one this reaction Okay, now so small change is required here. Now, right, see, double bond is here. So, B2H6, H2O2 means anti Marconic of addition of water. Okay, now anti Marconic of addition of water means this one. Simple, don't think too much. Anti Marconic of addition of water, which of the following compound gives? Okay, Reamer Tiemann reaction. So, Reamer Tiemann reaction possibility is only for the compounds which have OH group or electron releasing groups. This is the electron donating groups. When these are present, it is not possible, not possible. Not, benzene also not possible. OH is mandatory. Done? Thank you. This is your lucky, sir.